637 right now and so far we've seen really high numbers of voters heading to the polls for early voting. But tomorrow is when those big crowds will be out at all the polling centers casting their ballots for several highly contested races. One of those races, the battle between Archie Parnell and Ralph Norman for the 5th Congressional District seat. And as you might remember, it's one that has caused a lot of controversy. NBC Charlotte's Ariel Placencia live in Uptown now. So Ariel, tell us what is the deal with this race? Well, there's been drama all year long between those two candidates, and we'll get to that in just a second. But I just want to show you here all these signs at the polling place at Hal Marshall. Take a look. A lot of different candidates running for several different races. And this is exactly what a lot of polling places in our area look like signs on both sides of the parking lot all on the front lawn and we talked about some of those major races last half hour but exactly as you mentioned there's a big one in South Carolina that I want to get to now and that's going to be the fifth congressional district race between Ralph Norman and Archie Parnell now earlier this year if you remember Parnell faced allegations that he physically abused his ex-wife back in the 70s while Norman has been under fire for jokes about sexual assault allegations against Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh Meanwhile, also got to talk about the governor's race, a tight one to watch there as well. Republican incumbent Governor Henry McMaster seeking his first full term election as the top leader of the state. And he's facing off against Democratic state rep James Smith. Short time I've been your governor, almost two years, and I've announced over 24,000 new jobs. The fact is, is that plant is not going to come to that county if it doesn't have the infrastructure. It's not going to come to that county if it doesn't have the educated workforce to fill those jobs. So we're just about 24 hours away from Election Day tomorrow when voters will be able to head out and cast their votes. And if you're confused or want to know where the closest polling place to you is, Nextdoor, the popular app on your smartphone, just announced they have a voting map where you can find that information and then you can also vote whether you've voted or not. Reporting live from NBC Charlotte, I'm Ariel Placencia. I'll send it back to you. Ariel, thanks so much.